When we came here, we were a broken family. We came from a shelter and we were all in one bedroom and most of my kids didn't live with me just because there could only be six people to a room at the shelter, so three of my kids were not with me. This is a venue, an environment, a place, an organization that gives people hope, gives a man a second chance to get himself together. I've been in Christ House for about three months. Before I came in this program, I was, uh, didn't have any resources, uh, didn't really have a path at all, just kind of lost out there. Every day, Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Arlington serves hundreds of people in severe poverty and spiritual crisis. Amen. By offering food for the hungry, shelter for the homeless, and counseling for those in need, its goal is to provide opportunities that will stabilize and transform people's lives. In this diocese, we do have pockets of what I would call invisible poverty. We don't see it immediately, but there are people in the diocese who are truly, truly in need. Yeah, the poverty in Northern Virginia sometimes is hidden. Sometimes people are surprised about it because of the apparent affluence that we have in this area. We can give someone a loaf of bread or a meal to eat, but can we also be an opportunity to help them transform and change their lives? I was just shocked beyond words. Everything I could possibly need was there. I felt safe, I felt like it was home. St. Margaret of Cortona is a transitional housing program that houses homeless families for up to 24 months. Our families come from emergency shelters or domestic violence shelters. They come to St. Margaret for a chance to rebuild their lives, to pick up the pieces, and to move on to permanent housing. Everything was there, plenty of plates. We had a huge table everybody could fit at, linen on the beds, towels. Everything that you could possibly need to live in a house was in there. We have all of the units here at St. Margaret cleaned, painted, completely furnished with donated goods. And when they walk in, they're walking into a home. Thank you, Jesus. My prayers were answered when we were able to move in here. I was just happy that I could have my whole family together. Once you have your kids and you can wake up to them and go to sleep with them and cook for them, the things that people take for granted. I need that stuff in my life, and they, they gave it back to me. Christ House, located in the heart of Old Town Alexandria, has been a hub of activity since 1973. At this facility, there is an 18-bed transitional shelter for men, a food pantry, an office providing emergency assistance, a thrift store, and an evening meal program that operates every day of the year, serving more than 20,000 meals annually. With a small but dedicated staff, the programs here are supported by daily volunteers. When the volunteers do their work here, they're trying to put their heart in doing this thing so that clients, they will be able to feel that they are loved, that they are important for us. Presently, we're up to about 80 volunteers, and it's those volunteers and their spirit of goodwill and their generosity that makes this program and every program associated with Christ House highly successful. The people serving the meals are always very kind. I'm very appreciative, very thankful of being able to come here, and it really does make a difference. They've given me confidence more than anything. Wonderful. How long is the Here at Christ House, we offer substantive programming for single men as they transition back into self-sustaining life. You've got a job, possibly a job out of carpentry. That's wonderful. Okay. People need somebody to sit down and listen to you, you know, to look you in your eyes and when they ask you how you doing, really mean how you doing, and, and you got that here. From the cellar of the old Christ House building, is a heavily burdened food pantry program that delivers food to remote pantries and parishes across the 21 counties of the Arlington Diocese. We deliver to many different pantries throughout the diocese. That's out to the Front Royal area and down into the Northern Neck and sort of everywhere in between. So we're distributing um, anywhere between 400 and 1,000 pounds per location out of this pantry. When you start going out into the more rural areas of Virginia, it is a completely different kind of poverty. When we think about poor people, immediately we think about Africa and Latin America. 
we don't think about people in our own neighborhood. So here we are in a trailer park, which is behind restaurants and behind 28, and people drive over there. They don't know this is here. So it, this is real hidden poverty. Many families struggle with providing food, having the resources, the money for food. We hope that our food pantry will help to eliminate the hunger and the lack of food for many, many families in our area with the help of Catholic Charities. Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Arlington also has one of the most extensive clinical counseling services of any Catholic Charities in the country. We have almost 40 clinicians in eight different locations around the diocese. We are able to partner very closely with the different parishes in the diocese. It enables us to focus more on getting out and about and meeting the people where they are. As a priest, we meet often with people who are experiencing a crisis in life or just a difficult time, and to be able to refer them to a Catholic Charities counselor is a wonderful gift. From the adoption of a child to the care of the elderly, the staff at Catholic Charities and thousands of volunteers and financial supporters are making a difference. By partnering with Catholic Charities, you bring the light of Christ to those in need. You act as the Good Samaritan. There are thousands of people out there that are delivering food, teaching English as a second language, helping our seniors at the St. Martin Center, that are doing all sorts of work on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just incredible to see the dedication of these people and, and how they love what they're doing. They feel like they are just living out their Christian calling by helping others in the community. And that is so gratifying to see. Our mission is ambitious, but it's, it's also very stimulating and exciting for us. So one of our challenges is to reawaken in people the reality of poverty in our area and also the responsibilities we have to help people. If we can make present the love of Christ. That love is capable of transforming people to live life differently, with purpose, with meaning. And that's the real goal of Catholic Charities. I love you, I love you, I love you too.